Welcome back to another Steins Gate Zero review. Today is episode 13. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Couch Talk. As always, we are anime viewers only. No source materials, it's just visual novels and stuff. So, uh, yes, we're going to go ahead and discuss this episode and give our scores at the end. You ready? Let's do this. So, yeah, this is another one of those like Steins Gate episodes where like it's simple. Pretty much, pretty simple all the way throughout until they're like, here's the end, we're going to throw everything at you. <laughs> it, it likes to do that. Uh, it's, it's very good at, like, oh, everything's all nice now. Got them. Not, not anymore, everything's wrong. Yeah, so, starting from the beginning, though, we are picking up from Calgary and getting her memories back. But, the interesting thing being, that's happened here is like Okabe's told my Yuri and the others really that she came from the future. Right. And that that's why Kakari says she's her mother because and it's like yeah, I like my Yuri is like, I didn't have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like, oh not like that. Kagri's personality is much different now yeah, that like, she Well, she only unlocked certain memories. Or, yeah, her childhood memories. Right. right there. Uh, there was a 12-year void from basically when she got left on her own to like where they yeah. were then. And you know, they're trying to figure out kind of how those memories could have been messed up like that. Like even with uh, when she went and met with Suzaha in the store, and they were just talking like some of those things were different than what Suzaha remembers. Right, it was, they both remembered it differently, which is interesting. And it wasn't like minor details, it felt like. It was like completely... No, I don't think she remembers pulling the gun, like, at all. Right, like she, she, or like she said Suzaha, like, abandoned her or left her. It looked like Suzaha was like, there's no way I did that. Like, I did not do that at all, so. See, my first thought was like, maybe this Kagri's from a different like world line than this is the hot I mean <laughs> there's a lot of different possibilities right so but but the way they're trying to talk about like because Okabe goes to talk to Mr. Bronze like what could cause this he's like brainwashing and it's like oh that's very interesting it's like a third party could have altered her memories and everything I would want to know why i guess there's some insight of yeah, it later it is, on but like yeah why because i um, we know during those 12 years older she had to be picked up and watched for by someone right and we didn't know who so we still kind of don't know we I'm i guessing, have an idea i'm gonna take like the hint that has maybe someone else from the future came back and like planted something right because or... well once, when we get to the later scenes, there's a lot of stuff that's gonna have to be discussed and talked about, cause it's it's pretty crazy how it just like all happened at once too. Yeah. So, like, Okabe and Kiryu are like, all right, what about she found a place off the grid, off radar, like some facility that they think could have been part of it. Right, a building that's not supposed to be there. And usually when you find a building that's not supposed to be there, it's a sketchy-ass building. (laughs) Yes, yes. It's either drugs. It's it's some criminal activity or something. Straight up just crime always. It's never good. Experimentations. You never find a building off the grid that, like, houses a bunch of orphans and, like, makes them perfect human beings. It's always something messed up. Uh... But, like, yeah, so the big thing is, like, first of all, when that van first went by with the Mozart song, like, early on in the episode, I was like, and it zoomed in on it. Right. And I was like, all right, something's going to happen with this van. I just know it. And I didn't when know it, where they were going to go with that. I didn't either. But when it said and, Mozart, I was like, oh, shit, that's not an accident that it's playing, like, Mozart. And then earlier, earlier in the show, they were talking about how like, the numbers they heard were significant to Mozart. I was like, I don't trust that van. That's the first thing I thought. I was like, I do not trust that van. But, like, when it drove by, 
uh, Calgary. It was like, and she just went crazy, like right there, like getting all her memories, not crazy, but she just got all her memories back. It's probably, it was more like the trigger, you know, like when you brain. Yeah, I think it was like trigger. her. It, that was her trick. Like to turn her to the whoever brainwashed her side. Like that's yeah. the thing that. <clears throat> the trigger words. Yeah. Like, usually it's a trigger word, but this time it's a. It's a song. I wonder if it's any Mozart song or if it's just happened to be that one in particular. It might be that one, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but her memories start like flashing back. Dude, okay. And we see. That she was, you know, trying to get PTSD treatment. Right. But really, when it says Amadeus system sample. And it was the same exact number from the earlier in the show, the K6205 or whatever. I also, this gray haired, white haired doctor, I'm pretty sure is the doctor from now, Lichensign or whatever. Oh. Because oh, that I mean, would be him in the future, and it makes sense he has white-ass hair. And it would make sense that it had Amadeus yeah. tied to it. So I think that's him in the future. And he... I don't know what... She's obviously an experiment for Amadeus. Maybe they're trying to, like... Like, implant memories. Right, maybe like he that. was trying to transfer Amadeus into a person. Which is... Oh, it, it makes I sense. Really worse instead of the other way. Right, like... Or, yeah... Either one. She's obviously being used for some type of experiment. Yeah, something. It's obviously not enjoyable to her, but I don't. It, I don't even know. Yeah, it's I'm not crazy. Sure like I with the Amadeus thing, and then she's like, "I hear the voice of God," and that reminded me of, like the scene when she pulled the gun or whatever. She was hearing voices or whatever at that time. Right. So it's like, when did this like cycle? So, start, like, I'm assuming they started soon, right? But did the brainwashing also start at that time? I'm assuming. Okay, this is where it gets kind of. I'm assuming the brainwashing started when she was in the future, like when Mayuri would drop her off to, for the PTSD. Yeah. I assume that's when they. And stuff like that. Yeah. I assume that's when they started brainwashing. But when she went back into the past, I'm guessing the same group of people at least that organization found her and kept brainwashing her and that's why yeah, she doesn't have memories of those 12 years it could be that like yeah it's the same group but obviously they're not going to remember the future experimentations but they right. are working on Amadeus at this time and if that was the professor right he would still be running these experiments like granted he left Japan or whatever but not the group necessarily right I wonder if someone from that group from the future also went back into the past to, like, chase her. A probability. Because, I mean, in that timeline, time machines obviously exist, so it wouldn't be... I don't know. It was crazy. Yeah, it wouldn't be far-fetched if someone else hitched a ride and came back or something. Right. Dude, and this... Oh, my God. The ending, when they were, like... When the show kept going while the ending was playing... I was like freaking out, like, <laughs> like something's going to so happen. So much tension was building. Wild. You know what like when they found that hidden passage in the facility and it opened up, it was just mommy written everywhere. Dude, that stuff. was that was actually disturbing. Like she was locked in that room and she just mommy's literally everywhere. Like, holy shit, that was that was like uh, unsettling. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was like. Written in like red, which is even like more unsettling. Right, like, like is it her blood? Like what that's, happened? That's kind of what I thought at first. Honestly, like, blood. Like she goes so crazy and stuff. I just but, don't know. Obviously, it's not because she has chalk or whatever when she drew my eerie. I just don't know, because this is where I I don't know what the brainwashing's for. Because I assumed it'd be for Amadeus, but. Why? I'm wondering. I don't know if it's like. How would like, how would her in the just, past be? 
I'm not sure if they're doing it for like a beneficial thing or if it's just like a side. Maybe it's a side effect of like Amadeus itself. Kind of just. Do you think? Brain. Do you think the people from the future brainwashed her to? Hmm. Hold on. Do you think they intentionally brainwashed her because they thought that maybe they like knew Okabe and like Suzaha were gonna go into the past and they sent her as like a to mess it all up? That's I I would assume because like they were part of like the resistance or whatever, right? Right. So which is the other side because that was in the timeline of the World War Three or whatever. Yeah. So if they knew who they were, Mayuri, and them, like, they could have planted her. But I, I'm trying to think why. also, like, pulled a gun on Susan. Right. But I'm trying to think of why. Like, because in that time, like, World War Three already happens, and their intentions would not be to prevent World War Three, Or it, maybe. But, like, their intentions, I'd assume, for their personal gain, not, like... Yeah, but if you know Suzaha and then are going to go back to try to fix it, like, then brainwashing Kagari is the way to help stop it. Or stop them. Right. But I'm trying to think, why would they... Because, like, if you're on their side, the doctor side, I'm going to assume it's the doctor, because he's been suspicious the whole time. And when it showed that white hair doctor, that's the first guy I thought of. But on if you're on the doctor side, why would you want to sabotage them trying to prevent World War Three? is what I'm saying. Oh, from the doctor's point of view? I don't know. Maybe they're part of the actual, like, government there. True. Then, and then, I mean, I they, guess if you're on the winning side of the war, you don't care if there's a war. Yeah, exactly. That, uh, that's, there's so many questions that just opened up, and it's like, holy shit. And, like, I don't even, like, I don't know. I got scared for a second. when they, Like, when she got triggered and they were all at the party, I thought Kari was going to, like, walk in there and maybe kill someone. Like, I was, I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I don't know what she's off doing right now. I don't like, either. I don't know I if they, if like, she... called her. That's, like, all right, come to where we, That's... like. So it seems like she just took off. It seems like she has a destination in mind, which could be like one of their facilities or something. I still want to know how, like this whole Amadeus tie-in. I know. So, I don't know. Al- Amadeus might be like some evil overlord thing in the future. That like I don't know. It's like the mastermind behind all of World War Three or right. something like that. I'm nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. And I, it's, I don't, my brain can't. Because that's the thing, like, now that I think, like, yeah, because like you were saying earlier about implanting Amadeus, like, Amadeus, you know, is for uploading your memories to. But I'm guessing there would be a way to download memories into people. To manipulate right. Them. So, maybe it's advanced enough to where they can actually, like, control the population as a whole, maybe. Like, if you start to be able to download memories into people and stuff like that and rewrite their memories? Maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what the, the that those people's intentions are with Kagri. I know they're not good. That's all I know. But <laughs> There's brainwashing. It's probably not good. Right. If you have to brainwash someone, you're probably a not and nice they, person. Building off radar. Yeah. It's a crazy room. Okay? So... Not good intentions. But, yeah. Um, that's that's it. That's the episode. episode. You want to jump on in to scores? Yeah, jump on scores. I'll give it an 8. I think that's where I'll sit. Solid 8. Uh, so it's like really good. Like The ending was fantastic. The way it pulled in all these questions within like three minutes was all it took to really just start blowing minds and a 10 second scene of Amadeus system it was like two seconds actually it was like that was just enough to like truly just blow your mind so <laughs> was like what's going on here what the hell everything's happening there's so many questions and it's just 
I do always like the character interactions, at least going on throughout the episode. Like, uh, Suzaha and Calgary in the shop. Uh, Suzaha and Daru on the rooftop again. I actually do like those two anytime they interact together. Yeah. Daru's a simple man, but he knows what to say. <laughs> and um, he's hilarious. He is funny. I'll give it an 8.5. I I just always really enjoy the Steins Gate, like, mysteries that they do. And, like, the... It's always... They do have, like, this thing where they will be, like, calm throughout an episode or seem, like, happy-go-lucky. And then something just crazy happens, which this obviously did. I do like character interaction. I think all the characters are pretty strong. Like, I just am so intrigued what's going to happen and why. Like, I want to learn what Kagri's purpose is because we don't actually really know that. We know she's brainwashed. We know she's from the future. And that's about it. That is about it. It's just... And, and we know she's related to Amadeus. Just everything is tied together. We just don't know the details. Yeah, exactly. And the details seem like they'd be pretty messed up. Because, I mean, the ending, she was in pretty much a prison. Being, who knows what, brainwashed. Who, However you brainwash people. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Um, it just... Drugs. <laughs> drugs. One of the options they said. Yeah. I just... I don't know. They always give us with those cliffhangers, but it's like they give you a detail. It's not like a cliffhanger where like, oh, these two people meet up. What's going to happen next? They always give you something, a piece of information, and then that just opens a ton of questions. You're like, holy shit. What's like, I don't even know where this is going to go. I don't even know where Kagri is. I don't even know what she's for, but it's just crazy. It just I, stuff feels. Like, I don't know how they're gonna fix everything, but <laughs> I'm excited well, please, to see. Fix it. Right, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the episode. Now it's time. Spiel time. As always, it's time for you to be brainwashed and hit the <laughs> like, subscribe, and notification bell. Sure, hit it so you can be notified every time we upload. Comment down below, let us know what you thought of the episode. We did, didn't like or score anything like that. Again, no spoilers as we are anime viewers only and plenty of others are. Uh, stream over at twitch.tv, links in the description below along social media. And until next time, peace out. See ya.